What up, dudes? So my friend Koi has just started the conversation about microdosing on his YouTube channel. I'll link to his video down below. Microdosing is something I know quite a bit about because last year I started experimenting with it. I was doing some research in 2016 all about it. I was noticing all the benefits and all the things that it was giving people that I needed. I read that acid was giving people extra con concentration, helping them think outside the box, get more work done in the day. And those are things that I really struggle with. Maybe I have some sort of ADD. I don't know. I, maybe I have something because I can't concentrate on things very much, very well. I, I couldn't concentrate in school. I can't concentrate outside of school. I can't. It's hard for me to do work, sit, like sit down and just sash through some work. It's hard for me to do that. I got curious. I started experimenting. So microdosing is a tiny dose of a psychedelic. So if you were to microdose um, acid, you would do a tenth of a tab of acid. So a tenth of a dose. So around 10 micrograms. That's not enough to hallucinate. It's not enough to trip. You don't even notice that you're on anything. The only thing it does is change your brain chemistry. For 12 hours, you'll feel different than if you were sober. But you don't know that you're on a drug, you don't notice the drug. And then for mushrooms, uh, personally I would take 0.1 to 0.2 grams, which is a tiny amount. We have Liberty Caps in Wales, where I'm from, and I'd pick them myself, and I'll eat one mushroom a day. And I do five days of mushrooms, two days off. So there's this guy called Paul Stamets. I saw him on Joe Rogan's podcast. He is a mycologist, so he studies mushrooms, and he's been doing it his whole life. And he's, he's a genius, he's, he's absolutely beautiful to listen to. And he was mentioning about microdosing psilocybin, and he said, do five days on, two days off. So I was doing, I think I was doing three days on, two days off, three days on. But um, he just said, do five days in a row, then take two days off. And then um, when you come back to it, you'll notice that first hit. But then after that, you don't notice it, um, which is true. So the first day back, you always notice. You're like, whew, things are a bit weird. So because Koi made the video, I thought I would just share why I do it personally. So I, I, I microdo I'm currently microdosing mushrooms. I only microdose mushrooms in cold climates. So when I'm back in Wales and uh, in the UK, I'll, I'll mi microdose. Because I have something called seasonal affective disorder, which is like a depression that comes on when there's no sunlight and when the weather's when the temperature's colder. I get really depressed in the wintertime, so when mushroom season comes around, which comes around between like the end of August to like November, um, you can go pick mushrooms. So you pick as many mushrooms as you can to prepare, to harvest, to prepare for the cold season. And then um, one mushroom, five days a week and two days off. So this year, I was on mushrooms 52 days of the year. Only about four of those were actual trips. I only I only hallucinated about four times on mushrooms because I took a larger dose than normal. Those other days, I was just taking one mushroom. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful what it does. It's hard, it's really hard to explain what it actually does to your brain because I don't know what it does. All I know is you feel better. You don't get that dread feeling. You don't feel anxious about things. You don't feel any anxiety about stuff. The only thing it doesn't help with is work stress. That's the only thing it doesn't do. But I feel like if I was microdosing acid, maybe the work stress wouldn't be there, but then I'd have to deal with the depression. So it's hard to get the balance right. It just makes you feel okay. It makes you think, it just makes you know that everything is fine. Everything, everything is as it is. And you don't feel sad, which is the biggest part. That's why I was doing it. Good. <laughs> There's not really much more to it than, than that. That's that's the only reason I was doing it, was to treat my depression. And it's the only thing I've ever found that actually works. Pharmaceutical painkillers don't work, and antidepressants don't work for most humans. I mean, what antidepressant pharmaceutical pills do is they, they just numb your senses, so you're kind of numb to everything. You're numb to, you're numb to feeling regular feelings like love, sadness, you're, you're kind of numb to it all, and that's not that's not treating depression, that's just numbing you. Whereas mushrooms, they don't do that. They, they actually make it go away. They're called magic mushrooms for a reason. They have magical properties that you can only find in nature, you can't you can't create it. I guess there's four ACO DMT, but that, that doesn't really count. All I'm trying to say is uh, I've, I've mentioned, I've talked about microdosing mushrooms a lot. California is actually pushing for legalization of psilocybin, which is incredible. The whole world will eventually follow, uh, eventually. It'll take time. It's good to turn people on to the truth about what these little things are capable of. I'm not condoning drugs, uh, just because I'm not trying to promote anything illegal here. I'm just sharing my personal experience with something that grows out of the ground that I pick and eat. But yeah, if, you, if you're currently dealing with depression or sadness or s seasonal affective disorder uh, or anxiety, then do your research. There's a lot of articles in the description that I put down. Go read those. There, there's, there's always research coming out from research team that, that are doing these tested microdose experiments and it's uh yeah it's amazing what's what's being discovered. Yeah, thanks, thanks to Koi for inspiring me to, be, to speak out about my microdosing. Um, if you have any questions about microdosing, please ask me in the comments. I have microdosed acid, microdosed mushrooms. I haven't microdosed anything else, but uh, I think you can microdose everything. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty sure shamans will microdose ayahuasca, but uh, I don't know anything about that. So 
don't ask me questions about Ayahuasca, but mushrooms, I, I, I can speak about that. So please ask away, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you want, subscribe. I make psychedelic related videos and I, I make travel vlogs. I'm here actually in Chiang Mai in Thailand. So if you want to see the, these kind of videos, these will be on my second channel, links in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hi, hi, yagobo, gabo, sibo, ma. Goodbye. Uh -huh.